Number 1. Stavros Niarchos Park. It's no secret that Athens has a shortage of public green spaces, which is partly why this new cultural complex for the National Opera and National Library of Greece has been welcomed with open arms. On a gentle gradient are fountains, a great lawn for public performances, play areas, a 400-meter seawater canal, a circular labyrinth and paths along little geometric planted with endemic species. It's a scented wonderland with lavender, boxwood, thyme, olive trees, roses boxwood, cistus, rosemary and many more herbs and trees. Number 2. Stavros Niarchos Foundation Cultural Center. The Stavros Niarchos Foundation was set up after the death of the Greek shipping tycoon Stavros Niarchos in 1996. The foundation funded this lauded new cultural center and then donated it to the Greek state in 2017. It was designed by the faded Italian architect Renzo Piano and is a sight to be seen even if you have no particular plans as there's a program of outdoor performances, classes, concerts, cinema screenings and exhibitions in the summer, which we'll talk about below. Number 3. Acropolis. To the north, Calathea borders the center of Athens, putting the marvels of this ancient city in your grasp. And if there's one place you have to begin your journey back to ancient Athens it's the Acropolis. This rocky citadel, commanded by ancient temples needs no introduction and is up there with the world's most identifiable landmarks. At the top is the Parthenon, a lasting symbol for Athenian democracy and Western civilization. Number 4. Acropolis Museum. A superlative partner to the Acropolis, this museum designed by Bernard Chumi opened in 2009 below the southeastern slope of the citadel. The museum is built over the ruins of Roman and Byzantine Athens, and in there are hollows and glass floors on ground level revealing the streets below. The museum has been designed to be repository for every artifact found on the Acropolis, and has the original sculptures from the hill's temples, like the Caryatids of the Erechtheion and the friezes on the Parthenon. Number 5. Eugenides Foundation. Moments from the Stavros Niarchos Park is a planetarium with one of the largest domes in the world. The planetarium projects digital 3D movies onto a dome measuring 25 meters in diameter. These films go into space travel, nebulae, stars, the sun, but also Earth-based wonders on Earth like the Great Barrier Reef and volcanoes. Number 6. Summer Nostos Festival. For eight days at the end of June the Stavros Niarchos Foundation puts on in a free multidisciplinary festival at the complex. There are guided tours, movie screenings, lots of things for kids, get up to and all kinds of performances, workshops, lectures and exhibitions. In 2017 more than 130 international and 160 Greek artists took part in the event, which involved installations, ballet performances, live music, DJ sets and also three races, including a 6km run from the Panathenaic Stadium to the SNFCC. Number 7. Plataea Nero. One of the best places to hang out by the water and watch the sunset, the waterfront on the Faliro Bay was revived for the Athens Olympics after a few decades of disuse since the 1970s. The beach volleyball events took place here, and there are two indoor arenas, the Sports Pavilion, which hosted the Taekwondo and handball events, and the Peace and Friendship Stadium, renovated for the Olympics and staging the volleyball. Number 8. Banaka Toy Museum. Seconds on the tram from Stavros Niarchos Park is a branch of the Banaka Museum that opened at the castle-like Kulura Mansion in 2017. The basis for the exhibition is the toy collection of Maria Argyriadis, which she built from the early 1970s to 1991 when she donated it all to the Banaka Museum. Number 9. Plisvos Marina. South of the sports pavilion in Phaleron is where you can see how Greece's other half live. The Flispos Marina has more luxury yachts than any other port in the country. Facing the gleaming armada of super yachts is a Mediterranean esplanade with lawns, rows of trees and a choice of cafes, bars and restaurants. Number 10. Greek cruiser Georgios Avroff. Moored beside the marina is the former flagship of the Greek Navy, which had a very eventful career and is affectionately called Uncle George. The Georgios Averoff is a Pisa-class armored cruiser launched in 1907, built in Livorno for the Italian Navy but acquired by Greece in 1909. This vessel was Admiral Pavlos Kantoriotis' flagship in the First Balkan War, and served in the First World War. Hope you like this video. For more videos please subscribe to our channel.